Hi, this is me, Pierre, and uh, this is a video I'm going to show you. Uh, I played a very interesting game against a player on my own level. And I was black, he was white, and... Honestly, I played very well, and that led me to win in, a, uh, win in 16 moves. So this video, is, I'm going to show you the game that I've played on chess.com. Alright, I was black, he was white, uh, he played he played d4, so I played d5, this is my typical move, I always play d5. I was, uh, I'm learning this variation called the Grand Ford Defense, there's g6. Knight here. And this. And probably like this. It's like the grid for defense. That's probably I'm I'm learning that. You know, put the new moves in my game. So he played c4. Right. Play c6. That's the Slav defense. Um there's uh, there it's called it's also there is uh, also a variation called the accepted variation where black takes the pawn on c4 and white goes to e4 to get the center and get the pawn on c4 losing my pawn and then gain center so it's worth it so I played c6 not a typical move of me and uh, played c5 I played e5 I played e5 because I want to break his pawn's um, chain I want to break his pawn chain so I could get some def uh, get some of my army going and so e5 like let's say if he takes the pawn if he takes the pawn on e5 I could get the bishop on c5 giving me two pawn centers and a strong bishop But if he, let's say, played knight c3, then I could take the pawn, queen goes here, and then I could probably either play bishop f5 or knight d7. I think knight d7, because it's just a very fast, faster attack before than and then I could play a5 you know so so e5 he played e3 instead which looks okay to me but I play bishop f5 this gives me a strong bishop an active bishop so after Bishop f5, he played knight c3, just develop a piece, I played b6, so now I want to try to start an attack on the queen side, he defends it by playing b4, but I play a5 and I still get, get some um, pressure, if he played a3, then I take this, and if he plays this, then I get the rook on a1. So that will be pretty bad for. So instead, he played uh, bishop a3, which is not so good in my opinion. But I think he's just trying to defend himself as best as he could. So bishop a3. Uh, I played knight d7 because I want to take the pawn on b4. 
bishop b4 and then pawn b to c5 then pawn d to c5 bishop c5 bishop c5 knight d5 so it gives me a full pawn advantage she played queen h5 which I don't know why uh, it's not such a great move because I just uh, play bishop g6 attacking the queen the queen has to move he moves to queen f3 and then I take the pawn takes my pawn take this pawn he takes this pawn and I take this pawn he takes my bishop I take his bishop so it ends up like this I get three strong pawns a strong knight a very strong bishop and a full pawn advantage which which is to me a very good position I have a winning chance here so he played rook d1 which was absolutely bad horrible move uh, I just play queen h5 why queen h5 because I want to attack the knight on c3 if he plays uh, e4 pawn to try to defend the knight I will just simply play d4 and do this pin so um what else could he do if he played rook here I could just get the knight with the knight if rook c1 I could play knight e4 and get a double attack on the knight on c3 so he did this move which is absolutely crazy king d2 and I just simply play knight e4 attacking the king and having a double attack on the knight the king has to he has to move the king because he's in check so I play queen c3 and now if he plays rook d2 I play queen d2 checkmate so he plays king e2 and simply I just play rook a2 check here um, he resigns because after rook a2 it's rook d2 and then queen d2 check and mate so this is my game and I played really well I played uh, what I needed to do and just like that I made him in 17 moves so that's my game hope you enjoy it and uh, please comment on what you think of the game and yeah that's it thank you for watching bye